What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be talking about Flipper Zero Killers. We're ending 2024, and we're getting into the year 2025. And here I have three devices I think are going to be direct competitors to the Flipper Zero. And one of them here is a prototype that's going to be released in March of 2025. And uh, I'll be talking about each one of these briefly. So to start off, you're looking at a H4M. This is the Portovac H4. Um, this has a lot of radio ha hacking and penetration testing tools. Um, this device right here is a T enabled by Lilygo. Uh, this device has the Bruce firmware on, to, on it. And uh, I've been playing around with it, learning um, about this. This is a beta, by the way. So this isn't a full uh, version. Uh, eventually, they're going to be adding more stuff to this firmware. But already, for under $50, you can get a flipper like device. So the reason why this is so important is that Flipper Zero has been around for a while. And the problem is it's very hard to get. And in some places, it's inaccessible. And in some places, you have to spend like three times the amount of money just to get it in whatever country you're in. So finding these alternative devices are very important. And um, this one is it has not, not has not disappointed. I've been using a lot of the Wi-Fi pen testing stuff on this device. Um, unlike the Flipper, um, this has uh, ESP32 in here. So you're able to do the Wi-Fi um, pen testing right out of the box without having to put a module on it. So if anybody has uh, Flipper Zero, you know that sometimes the modules that you put onto these things are very buggy. But having the Wi-Fi stuff built into a device means a lot. I mean, and just with this firmware alone, you get a lot of Wi-Fi pen testing tools. So <clears throat> another thing is, the price, right? So this device right here, this thing can do a lot. This one I'm a little scared to use because of the fact that it's very illegal. It's very easy to do illegal things onto this device. But this one has a GPIO um, slot now. And uh, with that said, you'll be able to add things to this, like IR controls. And as the community gets um, gets their hands on this one, because this, this is a brand new model. And this is the best one, by the way. If you've ever been waiting on getting one of these devices, get the H4. You get um, the USB Type-C, you get the GPIO, you get a true on-off button that completely disconnects the battery. You also get two microphones in this device. Um, and uh, I'm going to put on the screen a couple more other features that this thing has over the other generations. But this is definitely the most refined one, and I highly recommend getting this one. So one of my favorite devices this year, and it would have to be this prototype. This is the BLE Shark Nano. So this device has a lot of pen testing tools already built into it. Um, if you look... You get Bluetooth, you get Wi-Fi, you have some games on here, apps, uh, bad USB over Bluetooth, um, uh, keypad, text viewer, etc. I mean, I'm not going to go through everything, but this device already has a bunch of features. And for under $40 that you get this. And again, I really like having the Wi-Fi stuff ready to go when I need it. And having this fit, so it's so small, right in your pocket, it makes it so convenient. Especially with the Wi-Fi pen testing stuff. You can do cap the portals, AP spam, the authentication attacks. Like This is the stuff I want to have on the go. And I don't want to have to get a module to get it to work. And uh, I find that the modules are very buggy with the Flipper Zero. And they're pretty pricey. So that's why like I think that in 2025, like these de these devices are going hard. And I'm going to be also... Um, Lilygo is... You're able to flashed the bruce firmware on the t deck and i have a couple other um devices coming in from lily go that you're able to put this firmware on and again like th this uh, for somebody that like wants to get into cybersecurity and doesn't want to buy a flip of zero you can't get one this is a great alternative i mean it's not perfect it's not refined like a flipper zero but it gives you a lot of gives you more options and uh to me again having the wi-fi stuff built into the device is huge and for a fraction of the price. I mean, you can get one of these for like 50, 50 to $60. Um, there's one of them that doesn't have all these features. It's even less. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to get your hands on these devices. Like, it's very hard to get this type of device. It really is. This is a very defined, well-defined device. It's been around for a long time. But I think in 2025, you're going to be seeing these devices really pack a punch. I want to see what you guys think as well. But I'm really gun ho about the uh, BLE Shark Nano. I really think that this has a lot of capability. And it's the easiest gadget for beginners. Like this one right here. And that's, and that's what makes it, me really excited is that you don't need the flash firmware on here. All you got to do is if you want to check for an update, you go to settings, updates, 
So to check for updates, it's going to connect to my Wi-Fi, and it says error, my firmware is up to date. And if it wasn't, I hit the button update, and it's good to go. I don't need to plug this to a computer. It's the it's the, it's the the cybersecurity gadget that basically takes care of itself, and for a fraction of the price. Like, this is a great starter device. I'm, that's why I recommend this highly on my, my, highly on my channel, is because of how easy this is to use. And another honorable mention is going to be the M5 stick, uh, plus two uh, this device you can also put the bruce firmware on it and you can do pen testing stuff and this is for like 25 to 30 dollars itself so it's even cheaper than the ble shark nano but this one you have to like flash and do all the work while this one it's like ready to go out of the box and this is more easier to use um so if i had to recommend what you should get in 2025 for a flipper zero competitor or a placement or something like it I would definitely get the BLE Shark Nano for your first device. So the sole purpose that it's so easy and so affordable and so accessible. Then I would definitely get a LilyGo T-enabled because this has a lot of possibilities. And you could tell they're directly going after the Flipper Zero. And with the community getting behind this one, I really see this one packing the punch on that as well. For $50 to $60, this device is very accessible for people. And if you use code GhostRats, you can save 5% on your LilyGo products. So again, use code GhostRats, you save 5%. Um, and this H4M, uh, I, again, I got to learn more about this device. I'm going to be honest with you. I bought this device, but I need to be very careful with it because this one, this is a solid device. This will be the last, out of the three, definitely get this one. But put this toward, like, you save up the money toward this one. I would definitely recommend you getting this one because this is the most refined uh, hacker RF you can get right now. The H4 is awesome. I, I'm so glad I waited to get this one. Um, this one again is very easy to do illegal things on. I mean, all these things you can do illegal things on, but this one's the easiest by accident to stumble across something bad. So, I mean, you can get, I mean, it's legal to get flight information on as long as you're not transmitting anything, but like, I've already seen some things and you just gotta be very careful how you use this device. So this one, you gotta learn and be a little bit more careful with these devices right here are, are still all great choices for 2025, but that's it. I mean, like there's a lot. There's a lot of competition with this Flipper Zero. And, it, and when it comes to IR stuff, like infrared stuff, I mean, you could spend like $10 and get a universal IR remote you can plug into your phone. You can do like infrared basically hacking with this thing. So like there's there's a lot of competition now. It's not like the old days where like nothing could really compete with it. 2025, these devices are going to go hard and heavy to this guy right here so flipper zero is still great i'm not trying to demean the flipper zero but i think it's time to make hacking gadgets more accessible to the community and uh these right here are the ones to look out for in 2025 the ble shark nano the t enabled and the h4 m let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh if you like this video please subscribe hit a like and remember safety is an illusion i'll see you guys in the next video